Let's talk about wearing your helmet in a petrol station. A few days ago I came across the story of Mark Degen, who stopped at a Londis petrol station near Musselburgh. He had three bikes with him to fuel up and was told to remove his helmet. Mark having a flip-up helmet raised it but was still refused service. When he took a picture of the sign telling him to remove his helmet and the staff member told him they needed to delete the photos. Now this has happened to me before on several occasions uh, over the years, but most stations seem to be fine with open face helmets. I've had an embarrassing experience of having the operator shouting God knows what over the tannoy system because you can't understand anyone on the tannoy anyway, while waving and flailing his hands at me to gesture to take off my helmet. Which, as you know, can be very embarrassing. Why do they do it? Well, as with most places such as banks, it's the risk of robbery, and having a helmet on can be quite intimidating, especially if you're big or tall. In banks, it's always been the, the done thing to take off your helmet, and that's something I can understand, but at a petrol station, no, I can't really understand that. But when you think about it, is it not discriminating against motorcyclists? So what's the problem? Well, mostly the problem is the ability to hide your identity by covering your head. Uh, it seems to be a thing that only motorcyclists are covered by. I mean, most items of clothing can be used to, or worn to hide your identity or change your appearance. I mean, if you think about hats, scarves, shawls, wigs, uh, other religious garments. So anything can be used to hide your identity. It's not just motorcycle helmets. But the main thing is, bilking is rife in some areas. And it can be understandable that they're a bit wary and cautious about people coming in with their heads covered, or their faces covered. But in most cases I've dealt with, uh, with, with most, if not all, offenders, uh, they haven't hidden their identities in any way. They, they, they're quite brazen. When stealing fuel or shoplifting, they will just fill up like normal and go before the cashier even notices. So they filled up the tank and they've shot out before the, the cashier has even noticed because they're probably too busy. Or if the shoplifting, they'll walk straight into the store, no hel helmet on, no hat, nothing, just, you know, dress like normal and take what they want and off they go. So this no helmet policy is pretty much a just in case because in my in my experience it's very rare that someone's actually covering their face or identity so what should you do if this happens to you well i will always wear my helmet in the petrol station i've got a flip front helmet and that's what i bought it for if i don't pull my scarf up you can see my face perfectly fine when it's open yeah, it can be be an absolute pain in the backside to take your helmet off. And this is why a lot of people don't want to do it, especially when the weather's cold and mucky. You don't want to take it off because you take it off, changes the temperature, it mists up when you put it back on, or it's all cold and soggy. And if you've got glasses, you have to take your glasses off and put them somewhere. It, it's a lot of hassle. and you know it, it, it saves a lot of time just being able to lift your helmet up. But... If a member of staff asks you to take the helmet off, providing they've been polite and not medicine, you know, I always say do as you're told, um, because it's not them making the rules, it's the company making the rules, or well, you'd hope so anyway. I'd be interested to hear your stories about being told to remove your helmets, maybe your opinions on removing your helmet in the petrol station or uh, anywhere else. Comment below, let's hear it, share it about. If you liked the video, please give me a, a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. But uh, that's it for now. I'll uh, see you next time.